Setting the benchmark for all teammates from the very beginning is very crucial for team management. If expectations are clearly understood and presented appropriately, there is little space for confusion to emerge or miscommunication issues, staying on the same wavelength as far as terms of expectations of your teammates is essential. Setting the norms and expectations from the beginning is the best approach to do it. It isn't encouraged to wait and introduce expected standards half the way through a project, this will make avoidable confusion and won't allow the team to fill its maximum capability. Here we will outline some critical keys to setting expectations and team management. Why expectation setting is a fundamental instrument. The absence of clear expectations not only levels performance and results inside a team but also negatively impacts engagement, bonding, and collaboration. Hazy measures can likewise prompt honest employee relations issues, including complaints, damaging conflict and out-of-line dismissal claims which can be expensive for the business. There is a wide range of events when pioneers should set, agree, and be guided by expectations. A part of some usual circumstances include team building, team management, developing relationships with coworkers, performance discoursed, reviews and appraisals, at times of change, redesign, while managing underperformers, when buying what to decide. What is expectation management? Expectations is an overwhelming word. We as a whole, expect things from each other. Some are reasonable, and some aren't. However, we don't understand that desire as a two-way road, much the same as trust. Expecting something from someone else will be productive just when the other person additionally feels like they are appreciated. If an association expects remarkable work from its representatives, it needs to comprehend that those very employees likewise want particular conditions of theirs to be fulfilled by the business. As a general rule, these conditions go past directly minor pay. It is the point at which these needs meet that development begins to happen. Kinds of expectations. From a broader view if we look, expectations have two principal territories. Performance expectations. This sort concerns the outcomes and results that should be fulfilled. Social and behavioral expectations. These links with the right values, practices, and attitudes those are required in the job. Follow these six stages to set clear expectations for your team. Explain them for yourself, it isn't easy to manufacture commonly clear expectations with others on the off chance that you haven't characterized your expectations. Let's say that you can't plainly explain them verbally or on paper, and you aren't ready to announce them to employees. I'll know it when I see it, is certifiably not a clear expectation. Determine where you have to set expectations, consider where the holes exist in your team. Is the work yield not precisely perfect? Do you impart successfully? What are the expectations forced by the authoritative culture? Make sense of where you are missing the mark, and characterize what requires change. Understand why, giving others the specific situation and defense for expectations will expand workers' responsibility for meeting those expectations. Support people with understanding the master plan, and you will pick up their assistant. Meet with workers to talk about the new principles, plunk down with representatives, either independently or as a gathering given the conditions, to discuss your expectations. Keep in mind, finishing the initial three stages is essential before you meet with representatives. You likely won't have the option to communicate your expectations obviously and entirely if, by chance, you forget to follow the procedure. To support a beneficial two-way discussion, furnish workers with a plan and rundown of objectives for the gathering, and request that they come arranged to offer their input for productivity. Pen down your expectations, we aren't talking about an authoritative archive here. When you write your plans and expectations, you acquire clarity and report your strategy. That route, there will be no confusion later about the terms to which you and the workers concurred. Increase understanding and commitment, when you have written your expectations, both you and workers should understand them, ensure that everyone is on the same wavelength, and focus on the new expectations for higher productivity. We suggest that you and representatives approve the report should you have to return to the issue later. If you take a look at execution the board intently, it is tied in with overseeing expectations that managers have from workers and the other way around. Managers anticipate specific things should be finished by their coworkers, and based on whether they think individuals' goals have been achieved or not, they feel free to give a rating. 
Thus, the employee has a few expectations from their managers, which can affect his degree of productivity, commitment, and professional responsibility. What ought to be considered is by what method can the two players know about what the other is feeling, and address it in the best way conceivable, without harming any suppositions. Conclusion. Setting expectations and team management is an undeniably significant piece of a cutting-edge manager's job role. It's critical to get settled with setting expectations and managing people by building real, remarkable bonds with your colleagues, utilizing inputs and feedback proficiently, and listening to employees to discover what their needs are and where they feel they're going. When you're working together like this and driving your team toward the path they need, you're well en route by setting expectations with a happy and enthusiastic team to success. Please subscribe to our channel like and comment, hit the bell so you know when we upload new videos. On Passive Bill Must